this just came up out of nowhere. What the what? It's going crazy outside. Like, it was so nice. I mean, it was cloudy, but like, it wasn't terribly cold or anything. I'm just sitting here eating some snacks, getting all my tax stuff done, and all of a sudden I look up and it's like, crazy. Not a fan, huh? Penny does not care at all. Like, not even a little bit. Oh, Penny. You can't hardly see it because of all the grass there. But if you look in the field, you can see where the lake is. It's more like a river. It starts over there. It runs through back here. Woo! Excitement. So that rainstorm was crazy. I'm sure it's not over yet, but the river running through my backyard is huge. It just happened really fast and it poured a ton of water all at once and then it quit and now it's like it's not sunny outside, it's still overcast, but it's not stormy anymore. Anyway, I was looking through some mail and things to make sure we have all of our tax stuff together and I found this guy, which I ordered like, I don't know, October, November, something like that. And it came in and it's been sitting like in my important mail stack this whole time. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew this onto my jacket. So I took a whole time-lapse video of myself sewing this patch on and apparently I forgot to hit record so what is my life even? But anyway, it is now sewn onto my jacket very securely. Firecracker. And there's Ted. So we just finished our last in-person Zumba class in Mountain View. Tomorrow is the last in-person Zumba class in Summersville until the like all the quarantine and stuff is gone because uh, oh, we can't gather together more than 
10 people at a time and our classes were getting really big. It was getting like 12 people in a class. So gotta stop doing that. Anyway, I, had, I did have a couple people show up for the last class and then I had a whole bunch of people on the live stream. So hopefully that picks up momentum and more people are wanting to work out with the live stream and then maybe that'll bring more people in later when we actually have IRL classes again. Woo! Come on, you! So I was gonna do something special for championships, but championships got canceled. And so now I feel like it's not quite as special for that, but also like a lot of people are doing crazy things because of Corona and quarantine and all that stuff, all that craziness. So I was just like, you know what? Why the heck not? Why not just do the thing that I was going to do for championships anyways and dye my hair teal. <laughs> so I now have teal hair. And I also got a complimentary um, uh, makeover from a couple of the Spintronics students. And yeah, so that was really fun. I'm putting together a whole YouTube video about the whole process of having my hair dyed. I got a little bit, we got a little bit of bleach on my shirt over here, but whatever, it's fine. It's looking better and better. Like the more dry it gets, it looks better. So I don't know, it's really cute. And I just kind of figured I'm not gonna have an opportunity like this. We're not technically supposed to have our hair dyed as teachers. So I'm not gonna get another opportunity like this where I have enough time to grow it out and whatever before school starts back up in the fall. So here I am. Spintronics teal hair, ready to go. As far as, you know, people being scared about the virus and everything, like people really are scared. Like this is a honestly terrifying thing. Look at all these flowers blooming. They're so pretty. <laughs> but yeah, it's an honestly terrifying thing. And I, for one, especially like hearing about the fact that like, like people my age who were relatively healthy have died of it, I'm kind of like, I don't know. I am i don't want to say I'm scared, but I'm definitely cautious of the whole thing. So I don't know, I, I would definitely be careful if I were you. You definitely don't want to go around and, you know, make people mad or make people more scared than what they already are. And that's just kind of where we're at. We're out of school officially until April 6th. What do, we, what do you do? They canceled Drum Corps International, canceled their entire summer. I don't know if you heard about that already, but uh, so there's no DCI this summer. And uh, so, so, so far my Costa Rica trip is still on, but I don't know, I'm terrified for that. I don't know that it's gonna last. Uh, I definitely just had to cancel the Spintronic summer camp today. And that was really difficult and painful. But the nice thing is that a lot of uh, these organizations like DCI is giving age outs one more summer next year to March. WGI is giving age outs one more summer next year or one more winter guard season next year. So that's good at least. It's just, I don't know, it's thrown everything into chaos and we're just, we're just kind of making it through. We're just kind of getting through it. We'll get there, we'll get there teal hair and all. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna go find my dogs. So see you next week. Bye, Kelly.